Hi, I am Casey, one half of Pocket Pulp, and this video is a playthrough of the demo for our new game, Inky and the Alien Aquarium. It's a puzzle adventure game that is launching on Kickstarter next month. You can get the demo in the link that is in the description to this video. So let's go ahead and get started. We made Inky and the Alien Aquarium for the Game Boy Advance. So the first thing that you will see is a uh, keyboard mapping for the controls if you are playing on your computer with an emulator like I am. Uh, it's a block pushing puzzle game, so it's super easy. The controls in the game are just up, down, left, right. Everything else is used to pause and use the, the menu button. So the buttons uh, that you use are A and B, which is X and Z on the keyboard. Start is enter, backspace is select. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to give you a little backstory. Inky was abducted by aliens along with several other sea creatures and put on display in the aliens aquarium in their mothership. When uh, they tried to put Inky in the aquarium, they dropped their container and Inky was able to escape. Now Inky has to make their way through the mothership and try to find their way home. Before we get started, we're going to go ahead and just go over those controls real quick. So if you push start or the enter button, it will take you to the options screen. Uh, A or X is your select. Up and down will uh, move through these options. Uh, right and left uh, toggle them. To make a selection to go back, we will click A or X. This right here, reset, this is for resetting the room that you're in. Sometimes you want to do that in a puzzle game. Now you can do it in the menu, but it's actually much quicker to do it uh, in the actual game. And uh, you can do that with either the select button or the backspace. So we're just gonna go ahead and go back. We're gonna press um, X and then uh, Z to leave the menu and that would have been the B button. So here's Inky. Uh, let's play with Inky a little bit. Inky can move left, right, up, down. And uh, remembering that Inky's goal is to get out of the mothership. So we just wanna get out of each room that we're in. Our suggestion is to first start and find the exit. And the only exit to this room up here is to the top right. So the next thing we wanna do is make our way there and learn as much as we can. Because that's how these games work. We, we teach you a lesson a little bit, one by one, teaching the mechanics of the game. And then we start piling on the puzzles and leveling, on, uh, leveling up the difficulty. So let's see what we learn first. We can go up and down on this grate. Um, but we cannot push this sphere over the grate. These little cones here too are blocks. Uh, we can't go over this hole, but we can push a sphere over it. These spheres are more objects that we can push, but they don't go over the grate either, and we cannot push them from the short side, so they only go two directions, while these go multiple. All right, let's check out the next one. All right, new room. This one's got three directions, and let's see what, if we learn anything new here too. So, uh, like we know, Inky can't cross these holes without help, so we can only go one direction. Another lesson, we cannot push objects from one room to the other because this is one of the exits we saw and we can't go that way. Can't cross this door right now. Can't push spears into each other, but we can go ahead and use it to get across. And then we're gonna make our way to this exit over here. All right, new room, new lessons. Let's find our exits. We've got two down below, but we know we can't use one because it's there's that door. We got this sludge up here, just introducing us to it, and we can't cross it. Oh, another learned lesson. Can't push two spheres that are next to each other. So let's get those out of the way and make our way across this hole. Now, fun fact, uh, the, game, uh, the rooms in this tutorial should be unfailable, so if you get to a point where you actually get stuck, 
you should let us know. All right, so now we're into this new room and let's find our exits. There's only one way to go um, across that hole right there and then up to the top. When we push this button, let's see what happens. I love this sound. Boom. All right. Uh, so when we push the button down, the pistons go down. But when we release it, they go back up and we cannot cross these pistons. So the first thing we gotta do is hold down that green piston so we can get down here. And now we gotta push uh, this blue piston down, but it needs to be held down so we can get across. We learn here that we cannot push spheres across these pistons. But we can hold this one down. So now we can get across, but oh no, we can't get across the hole. So let's go back up, push this down, and then make our way across. Now we've got our first object that's gonna unlock the door. All right, coming back up. Now we can get through the door. And we're at this room again. All right, so now we go across. Now this whole idea, now one thing you may have just noticed when we came back through is that the room reset. And the reason for that is that we use it for some pretty cool puzzles uh, in the game and we give you an example of one in the demo. So let's go across, back up, and we're getting into the more serious puzzles now. All right, more things going on here. First thing, let's find our exit. All right, only one exit. It's to the far left of the screen. And between us and that exit is a blue piston. So let's go ahead and push that down and see what happens. All right, it goes down, we can get across, but sludge is in our way. And to release the sludge, we've got to get this sphere off that, uh, off that button. But we can't do that because the sludge and everything else is in our way. So let's reset and think this through. So we need to get both the blue button and the green button down because we need the green button down to get across, right? or green button to get uh, that blue button down, but we need to get this green button released afterwards. So that means we can't use a sphere to hold it down. We're gonna get this one out of the way. And now we're gonna push this one on. So we can push that blue piston down, release the green piston, and now we can get across. So uh, things that we learned in this level is that pistons can control the sludge coming out of the pipes. New room, all right. So let's find our exits. We've got three exits to the top. The one on the far left we can't access because uh, that's a sphere and we know we can't push that sphere out of the way. Uh, the wall's in its way and plus we can't push that direction. We've got two exits right here above us. The one on the far right is blocked by a piston. So we'll have to push spheres across this way and build a bridge, but we don't have enough to get across. Uh, so we need to use this other one here to build a br little bridge. And now we need to get two objects across so we can cross that um, area right there. So let's start with this sphere here. And we're going to kind of push it down, work our way around, and and then go for this one too. Now, one thing I, I want to recommend people to when they're playing these uh, puzzles, if you ever get stuck, just keep trying stuff. Eventually you work your way through it. All right, new game, new puzzle. All right, we're kind of blocked here, right? Uh, we have a piston here blocking our way. Uh, we have an exit to our right. We have an exit to our left on the bottom and then another one up to the top. But like I said, our, our hands are a little tied right now, so we're just gonna do the only thing we can, which is push that sphere. And what did we learn? Sludge pushes spheres. All right, can't do anything this way, can't go anywhere this way, that's blocked. Can't go this way now because of the sludge, so really forced again to do only one thing, push this again. And what did we learn? One, Inky can push a sphere, an object that's being um, held by sludge. And when Inky hits the sludge, they're pushed back on back down this way. Now we're back to this room. So you think, oh, I know how to solve this room. I'll get out of here. Well, when we push this, it lowers the piston, uh, the blue piston. 
but now we've released the green one. So now that means those uh, objects that we used in the last puzzle, all those spheres, this one and that one, are uh, not accessible. So now we need to build a new bridge to get ourselves across and then get spheres across to build a bridge to the area where the blue piston is down. And back up. Ta-da! All right, so now we're back in this room. What are options here? Can't go up, piston's in the way. We've used all the exits except for that top left one, so that's the way we're gonna make it. Let's go ahead and push this spear down. That lowers this here, but I still can't get up, right? And now I can't go this way. So I gotta push the green piston down now, and now I have this spear to hold down this button. And we've made it to the end, yay! All right, you can see I made 914 steps. Uh, if you play, let me know how many steps it took you. And if you liked the demo, make sure that you follow us on Kickstarter. We will be launching soon. Thank you, and let us know if you have any questions in the comments.